Number 22, to the nearest degree, what is the measure of the smallest angle in a right triangle with sides three, four, and five? So we know it's a right triangle and it's a three, four, five. They want the smallest angle, and the smallest angle will be opposite the smallest side, three, here. So we'll call this angle x. Now we can use basic right triangle trig, Sokotoa. We can use any one of them because we know all the sides. So I'll just choose sine of x, and that's equal to opposite over hypotenuse 3 over 5. To solve for, a, for x here, I'm going to take the inverse sine of both sides. Now remember, I'm in degrees here, because all my answers are in degrees, so my calculator should also be in degrees. And so I'll go to my calculator here, and I'm going to check my mode, and I'm actually in radians, so I'm going to switch to degrees. Now, I'm going to hit the second inverse sine of 3 divided by 5, and I get 36.8. So x equals 36.8 degrees, making answer choice C, 37, the correct answer. Notice they said nearest degree. Now, a lot of people, when they learn law of sines, they want to use it for everything. So if you were to solve this using law of sines, we're using a triangle where we say that each angle represents an uppercase letter and it relates to a side opposite it. So the opposite of A would be lowercase a, lowercase c, and b like so. And the law of sines, and this is very helpful for non-right triangles, but we can use them for all triangles, states that the sine of any angle over its opposite side will equal the sine of any other angle over its respective opposite side. So. If we go to this triangle again, we have this 3, 4, 5, and we want to find x. We can say that the sine of this right angle, 90 degrees, over 5, equals the sine of x over 3. And then we would just simply plug this in and cross multiply and solve. I'm not going to go through that right now. So this law of sines is good with all triangles, and because it was a right triangle, we could use basic Sogatoa.